Hi, David Underwood, Health and Social Care Professional Practice video blog. Uh, I'm coming up now to the end of my second year. This is the last piece of work I need to get in. I have actually left this to last uh, purely because I thought I could sort of look back on the whole of my two years and um, sort of consider how, how I've changed as a person and how, how my work practice has changed. And, and there has been some changes in my work practice. Um, I mean, I can give you an example. Uh, I support I support a young lad that got in trouble with the police. He um, there was a chance that he was going to have to uh, attend court. The lad's got a learning disability, uh, and I, I attended a multidisciplinary meeting uh, with a social worker, two of my managers, and the rest of my work colleagues. Now, because I had been to college, because last year I I did a module on law, because I'd visited a law court, I had a I had a good grounding and and knowing what was going to happen to me if you did go to court. So I did some research before the meeting, and I found um, quite a lot of information about people with learning disabilities going to court, what support they could expect, uh, and. When the meeting started, I brought this to the meeting. Uh, I explained to the social worker what the procedure was. What we would have to do is, is staff to support him there. And I explained it all to my manager. Um, and, and I actually I, I printed some information off for everyone to read. Now, this would not have happened. I would not have done this uh, before I started my college course. Starting my college course, has really helped me to gain in confidence at work. It's helped me to to understand a lot more my job role. It's helped me to understand why legislation is in place, how important the legislation is, and how important you know the paperwork I fill in every day is. Before I started college, it was just something to do, something to fill in. But now I realise that that it's really important. You know, records are important for people to look back on if anything ever goes wrong. Uh, so that's one way, you know, uh, college has changed me and I've become more professional. But I think it's the little things, it's it's the really small little things that I've noticed are changing with me, my reflection on work. I will often come home if I've had a, a day at work where I've had an incident, you know, something's not gone quite right, I've had to deal with something, and I will come home and I will sit for five, ten minutes on my own. Maybe sometimes get a pen and paper and, you know, just scribble down a little bit of my thoughts, how I felt, why I reacted like I did, what, you know, what could have been different, what should have been different. And it, it's really helped me, you know, it's helped me to, to grow, you know, as a person. And college has given me that confidence. It, it, it's given me the... The foundation to be able to do that, to understand the theory around reflection and professional practice and why it's important, uh, has helped me to grasp it. You know, to to, to grasp what, why why I'm doing it. You know, I've got to say before college, I, I thought I was quite a conscientious worker, and I think I was, but now I know I, I can put that theory there behind it you know and it, it's really important it's it's like it, it's ma it's made it rounder for me understanding my work understanding why things you know why things need to be done you know like I said before the paperwork uh, and I've been able to be I, I used to be very quiet you know at team meetings I know it's hard to believe but I did um, because I, I never felt I had the confidence to question things you know questions question what was being asked of me or what was being told to me but now I definitely step up more you know and I, I definitely if I don't think something's right I, I will I will air my views you know and I do feel now that the confident me has got the knowledge to back that up you know if I think something's wrong I, w I will speak up I will say well actually I don't think it's I don't think that's right because and it might be a piece of legislation it might be something to do with the Care Act that we've all overlooked. Uh, so I believe 
professionally, I, I am developing into a professional. Also, I need to just mention about when I started my college course, I had no intention of moving jobs. I was okay where I was, and it wasn't about me wanting a better job, you know, wanting to do this, get better money, anything like that. It was just college was something I needed to do for myself as a 50 year old male. And it's it's changed me. It really has, you know. I I have decided that I'm not going to stay as a support worker. I am going to move into a different area. I'm not quite sure yet. I've, I have been looking at the step up to social care after next year because I know Blackpool's desperately short of social workers. Uh, I said social care. I meant social workers. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So doors are opening for me you know uh, I'm, I'm the college experience I, I did not think it would change me like this I really didn't and I've got to be honest I absolutely love it I'm, I'm looking forward to next year and my BA and I just I just think it's it, it's been a wonder for me it's really opened my eyes work wise it's opened my eyes um, supporting people has always been it's been something I've done for 15 years but now I support people with the knowledge behind me that I, what I'm doing is correct and it's it's been it's been brilliant for me it's been brilliant for my work I do feel like I am becoming more professional uh, and long may it continue thank you very much for listening to this vlog okay bye